Abnormalities in the storage of membrane lipids constitute a major proportion of the lysosomal storage disorders. A review of these lipids is helpful for better understanding of these conditions. First, we will review how the phospholipids are constructed. A core component is the 3 glycerol phosphate molecule, which can accept two molecules of fatty acids, labeled R1 and R2, attached to the phosphate part of this molecule, indicated by R3, can be any number of alcohol groups such as inositol or glycerol. The overall lipid molecule is termed a phosphoglyceride. An important functional part of this lipid is the hydrophilic region, also called the polar area, that can easily dissolve in water. There is also a hydrophobic or nonpolar component that is relatively impermeable to water. Phosphoglycerides have the ability to associate with one another and form broad sheets of molecules which can integrate with other layers of phosphoglycerides to form a bilipid barrier that is part of the cell membrane. This membrane serves to separate the intracellular contents from the extracellular environment. Lipids in the brain can be quite complicated. One of the core molecules for these lipids is sphingosine, a long amino alcohol. Sphingosine can be combined with a fatty acid molecule, as illustrated here, to form a core molecule known as a ceramide. This core molecule is a central building block for many membrane lipids, especially those located in neurons or in the supporting glial cells of the brain. Ceramides can be modified in a number of ways to form more complex lipids, and the terminology for these can be confusing. As an example, the addition of phosphocholine to a portion of the ceramide creates sphingomyelin, an important lipid in the myelin sheath of nerve cells. Importantly, glucose or galactose molecules can be added to the ceramide to form a glycolipid, and there are two major categories of glycolipids. Cerebrosides have a less complicated glucose side structure, and here we see an example of a cerebroside that has been formed by the addition of two galactose molecules to the glucose molecule. The second category of glycolipids is illustrated here, where we show the addition of more complex sugars, abbreviated here as GALNAC. Another complex sugar is termed N-acetylneuraminic acid abbreviated as NANA. The addition of these two molecules to the cerebroside structure creates a type of glycolipid called a gangliocide. We have thus seen that the ceramide core molecule can be modified by the addition of sugars to form glycolipids, and the two major groups of glycolipids include cerebrosides and gangliosides. When the lysosome is unable to degrade these lipids, their accumulation disrupts the function of the brain and or other organs. Storage of the cerebroside pictured here is associated with Fabry disease, and storage of this particular gangliocide is associated with Tay-Sachs disease.